you've ever owned a cassette player, you know that if you can listen to something, you can also record it. What I'm going to show you here is if you simply have an audio interface with at least two channels out and two channels in, you can record absolutely anything you want from the internet. Let me show you how it's done. Here I have an audio control one from Native Instruments. It's a two in, four out card. I'm going to take the two output channels and we're going to connect them to the two input channels. Here we have options for a line input or a microphone input. We'll set both these to line and then we just max out the volumes. And we're going to take the channel 1 output and run it back into the channel 1 input like that. And two will just go right back into two here. And what this is going to do is the audio that goes out to your headphones that you would be listening to, we just run that right back into an input. And then we're going to use some software just to record what's going in. You can actually use just about any software you want to record the audio. I'm going to use Tractor. In Tractor Preferences, we're going to take a look at our routing here, our audio setup. We're going to select the audio control one. For the input, we're going to select this input effect send. It's going to be one left and one right, these channels here. And then for our mix recorder, we're going to select the external and we're going to take the input effect send. Turn on that mix recorder. The audio options on the Mac operating system are located in the system preferences under sound. And here you see we have the audio control one selected. So that means Whichever program is using the operating system's sound is going to get routed to the audio control one. So when we're in Firefox, it's going to go to these channels here. All right, so we're going to grab some audio from some clips here on YouTube. And what I want to do is make sure we get the best video quality we can here. And when you have a better video quality, you're also going to get better audio quality. So here we go. Let's hit play. Okay, so we got that clip, and let's grab another one here. Look, over there. Stop it. I'm going to get some cool laser sounds here. Okay, so we grab the samples here. Next, we're gonna use an audio editing software. I like to use WavePad. You can also use Audacity. Uh, that's a free software. I'm gonna go ahead and open up that recording. And here's the audio we grabbed from YouTube. Let's go ahead and just go through and edit it just a little bit here. Okay, so we picked the audio we want. So we get that first sample there. And let's see if we can find some cool laser sounds here. Okay, we got one of the lasers. Okay, once you get a little bit of editing done, Figure out the sounds you want to keep, 
and set the levels so it's nice and loud. Then save your file. Alright, once you're done with that, you can pull it up in Tractor. Alright, here we have the track. Let's go ahead and save some cue points. Here we go. Okay, so here we have a few more sounds. And so you can you can just imagine uh, you can add up all those sounds to a set, and it's just really easy to record it, and now you can use it for whatever you want.